Hey there guys, welcome to video number 54. This one is on factorizing and the difference of two squares. So it's a special thing this. Um, the keywords are factor, factorize, difference and squares. A factor is a number that fits into a given number. Factorize means put brackets into an expression. Difference is found by doing one number take away the other number. And squares are the result of multiplying numbers by themselves. So if you've got x times x, you've got x squared, okay? If you've got three times three, you've got nine, and nine is a square number. Right, now these are special types of factorizing question where you need to spot them. You need to figure out that it's a difference of two squares question. And once you've done that, it's really easy to do. So the first term will be a squared number or letter in the question you're given. There will be a minus symbol, and there will always be a minus symbol because that's what the difference is, it's a takeaway. The second term will be a squared number or letter as well, just like the first term. And you need to remember that the opposite of double brackets, all right? Now, we can write it as an identity to it as well. So we can go say, this is an identity to this. Remember, an identity, something that's just written exactly, it's exactly the same thing, it's just written in a different way. So we're going to go open brackets, double brackets, and we're going to put a y in one and a y in the other, okay? Because this question says y squared minus 9. And if you did y times y, you would get y squared. Now, how do you make a minus? All right, well, thinking about negative numbers and multiplying them together, you would do a plus and a minus to get a minus. So we have a plus and a minus in the brackets. And again, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, watch the uh, video in the number section that you need to watch on multiplying negatives there. And then to make a nine, you would you would have three multiplied by three. Okay, so squared term minus square number done. Factorized, it's done. That's it. That's what goes in our answer space. Nothing more, nothing less. And that's it. Easy. But it's spotting it. That's the thing. So in B, it's exactly the same, but we've got it the other way round. All right. So we've got a. I'm not going to put the identity this time. I'm just going to put 81 is made by doing 9 times 9. Then I'm going to put a plus and a minus. And then I'm going to put a P and a P. OK. And then I've got my PP in there. All right. And then in C, we've got, uh, again, much the same thing. Not too different. I've got a C, a C. I'm going to put the minus that way and the plus that way because it doesn't matter which way round you put them. And then I know my square numbers, so I know that 14 times 14 is what makes 196. Okay, and you should you know your square numbers really up to 15 times 15. But I've said before, most of the time you probably get away with 12 times 12 up to 144. Okay. Um, now, in question two, we've got to fully factorize these ones. Now, these could well be on a foundation paper. Technically, they aren't. Um, too difficult right they're not too far removed from what i've just shown you um but more likely to be on higher paper so um open up your double brackets again okay we got the identity to this as well that's a square number in front of the squared term and that's another square number and a minus so it's definitely a difference of two squares this time i'm putting a two in there the two in there to make the x squared and that makes the four to make the x squared i'm putting an x and an x in next to that two and two then I'm putting a plus and a minus. Again, doesn't matter which you round. And then I'm putting a three and a three. That's it. Okay. Um, and it all revolves around knowing your, your square numbers, doesn't it? So B, we've got, again, much the same thing. You've got 25 is made by doing 5 times 5. D squared is made by doing D times D. And then plus times minus again. And then 1 times 1 makes 1. There you go. And then C, it's very, very similar. Not quite exactly the same. So we've got 16. It's made by doing 4 times 4. M is made by doing M times M. Um, uh, the minus is made by doing a minus times a plus. And then the 4 is a 2 and a 2. And the Y is a Y and a Y. Okay. So there's a little bit more involved that one. And these questions might throw some people. But just try and spot the square numbers and the squared terms and the minus. Look out for that and you'll be okay. You'll figure out what you need to do. Pretty simple, putting them in the brackets after that. Right, move myself over. Let's look at this third question. You've got to fully factorize this um, expression here. Now, straight away, it's not obvious this is this is a difference of two squares thing, but it does turn into it. Okay, so what we're going to do, so we're going to divide both those uh, terms there by 20, like you normally would with normal factorizing, take the highest common factor out of the numbers. So I'm going to take 20 out, okay? And if I take 20 out, what I'm left with is P squared minus 16, okay? Because if you multiply 20 by 16, you get 320. Two, two times 16 is 32, so 20 times uh, 16 is 320, okay? 
there you go. We've got a difference of two squares thing in this question now. All right. So we've, what we've got is 20. Can't forget that 20. And then double brackets, P and P plus and minus 4 and 4. And that's our answer. That is really what we should be writing there. I'm not going to write it out again. Okay. So there you go. That is it. That's that. But it looks more complicated, doesn't it? Now, this one probably won't get a question like this. This is just a little bit fanciful, but it's just showing you what you can do here. Now, squared number, um, not a squared term, so the power of six, all right? And this is the power of four, uh, but we can use our indices laws here to understand this one a little bit. So we've got four, 144 is made by doing, if we just open up some double brackets here, all right? We've got 12 times 12. 144. Then we've got g to the power of 6 and then g to, uh, sorry, g to the power of 6. So if we do g to the power of 3 and g to the power of 3, it's got to be the same number in these brackets, otherwise it won't work out, it won't cancel out if we multiplied them out. Um, then that would work, okay, because uh, we're allowed to add the powers, all right, and that would make 3 plus 3 would make 6, wouldn't it? And then we've got a plus and a minus, and then we've got a 5 and a 5, and then we've got an x and that would be squared and then that would also have an x squared in okay again those numbers in the brackets of the powers have to be the same otherwise it wouldn't cancel out nicely uh, we couldn't use three and one and we couldn't use four and uh, uh two and, and whatever for the g's all right so there you go that's, that's that's that one like i said it's a little bit fanciful but it's um using index laws and if you're not sure what i'm talking about there watch that uh, video powers slash indices rules to understand that one a little bit further all right, so there you go. In its basic form, spot it. You've got these questions all day long. Nice bit of grade five maths, top end of foundation. Good couple of marks. Uh, please like the video if you have learned something. Uh, dislike the video if that's what you would prefer to do. Um, if it brings you some form of joy in your life, um, please do subscribe or not. It's totally up to you. Um, these videos are for students, mainly students in the school that I teach, but any student uh, that learns anything from them um i would be I'd, I'd love to love to kind of hear from you in the comment section and say thanks for that i enjoyed that that was that's going to help me with my gcses because that would make me feel good all right um it's nice to make people feel good about things isn't it they're doing uh or don't do it i don't mind i don't mind i don't need it no i'm not doing it for that i'm not doing it for recognition waffling now so have a lovely rest of your whatever day it is you are watching this video on and be lovely to one another one and all thank you so much take care goodbye